what happened. It's me, like, explore the compound. Huck. Um, like, yeah. literally, like, yeah. Well. You want me to turn the hood on? Nah, it's up to you. I don't know. It's fine. That's a, that's a lot of zombies up there. Isn't the hut just... Like, yeah. Okay. okay. Where is this going Yeah, we should start it. We should start round. Should we use it? Oh, yo. Look at that. Look at this cutscene. Look at that cutscene, y'all. Are we using game voice? Is the punching strategy for killing zombies effective? I don't think so. I have a Genex. I have a Genex right here. Who needs it here? So I grab like a bat right here. So we're hoping that whack him. He's dead. God damn it, we keep hitting each other. You keep it. I'll join you. You guys just want to restart it? Why? When we had such a good start. Did we? 
As good as you could get. Wait, I don't know. Is there limited lives? I'm pretty sure there is. Players with no flare guns. Wow. I got full magazine. What have you found? Go. Nope, are you dying? Where is it supposed to go? Aren't you supposed to go back there? I tried going there. The way is blocked, break the gate. Actually, break it, break it. Uh! There's a shotgun ammo over here. I only got five loads left. Fix it at all. Fancy? It fell through the floor. What the fuck? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it's your kids! No!
Huey, how are you still alive? You should be dead. Did they disappear? Kiwi? They're here. They're <laughs> no roof fell down. Yeah, Over here. I'm still alive. No, I didn't drop them. Oh. Are you really supposed to just time it properly then? Not timing. They get down there then. That's that is where we're supposed to go, right? Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna try to drop it on the grade again. After like the last. Oh, that's... I don't think we're supposed to go down here though. Really? Okay, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Uh, let me drink that drop thing for Kiwi because he's gonna need that. Pretty sure you're supposed to jump or something. I guess try jumping to that ledge or something. That looks like a death trap to be quite honest. No, no, but I'll just check this out. Oh, fine. Fine. That's stupid though. Cause that's actually beyond go the dumb. Other way. Go the other way. I'm not gonna choose that window. Oh, you fucking, you're a pussy. Fucking guys, I need help. Holy hell, holy shit. I just saved you, I just saved you, man. I got reload. Yo, another one, another one. I got reload. I'm right, pushing. I got one magazine left. I got more pills for somebody, by the way. Also known as you, Kiwi. You should take the, your pills, pick up the new way. Yeah, take them right now. Buy you some time. Um, are you gonna like take the ammo out of the Mac 10, by the way, or whatever that is?
There you go. I need, uh, no, I don't need, I need shotgun ammo. Oh, I don't have I, I need oh, this bandage. more of, like, the... Grab this. Okay, wait, yeah, do you need more of, like, the 5.56? Five, five, yeah, or... Run down, no Rue, if you can hear. Yeah, where? Go down the ladder, there's a door. There's a room with a ladder in it. First floor. I got one mag left! I got one mag remaining! I got one mag remaining!
Hey, I have uh, five, five, six rounds and a Molotov here. Grab it. I got one magazine left. I'm activating something. I wish I could. I saw Spencer spawn, I just run ahead. I got one magazine remaining. Shelter. We have food. 
Actually, go outside. That works. There's a med pack down those stairs. I think you need the med pack, Kiwi. Okay. Magazine's almost oh, full. Now. I'm out. Oh, we looted the store already. I got one load remaining. Head <laughs> back up. Oh, it's about those zombies here. <laughs> did you grab it? Did someone actually grab it? I did. I grabbed someone over there. How? The skill issue. How? No, there's an invisible wall there. What did you do? Anyone need 9mm? I have some. There's a little well here. I'm gonna go check upstairs. Gauge and uh, what was that? Forty five. There's 
kills. Six rounds! Pretty well stocked on loads. I got one magazine left.
I'm out of magazines! Seven rounds left. Me? I have a little bit of 762 by 39 for you, but I've been out of ammo and trying. this way or that way? I did. I think we should go this way. Where is everyone else? I don't know. I'm from separated from the Fancy dining. So let's go this this way. Uh, can you hear the six six two? Yeah, they're just. I got no loads left. I think I have like two or three rounds. But I think we should go the other way. I don't know where. I'm Keep going. You're infected. Uh, we're down here. Hello. Always really dark.
Back. It's on the elevator. They're waiting on Vista and uh, Dancer now. They're probably in that circuit. 
We should have people carry radios. Just me. He would live. So, you guys kind of like left me and Fancy behind for like a really long time, and we were waiting for you guys. And like, yeah. What the fuck were y'all doing? What the fuck were y'all doing? Letting you get munched. Why? Because none of us have weapons. Shit. Oh my Ready? I got a full magazine! Try to put a bullet through your head. Go ahead. <laughs> I got three mags remaining.
rounds left. No, I, I knew it this entire time, but you see, you guys were like down there, so I couldn't find you. You know. I'm just, I don't know. If you look at the like compass, you see like it says replace the plugs and restore the generator. It's just there's no plugs here. So I guess they're down there. And we still don't know. <laughs> I thought you were far, I thought you were far away. You, you need a med kit, Nobru? Because I got a med kit. That did nothing. They're already low on health. He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't that low on health. He was low on health. So, anyone want to go down the Two loads remaining! I will remember this man. Anyone going down? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, fall damage. Fucking <laughs> guys. Fancy! Fuck. Actually, took you're. <laughs> Fancy took so much damage. Yeah, oh yeah, I want to die. Oh, we got it? it. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. There's, uh, there's a big pathway down there. This is not working. Okay, if it doesn't work, then we go this way. It's working! Oh, oh! Goodbye! Alright, bye, Kimmy. <laughs> I got two magazines remaining. I got two mags left. I got two magazines left. Yo, I got the flag! My mag's just about full. I got three magazines left. I'm gonna go to sleep now, y'all. Fancy! Are you calling it quits, then?
No, we're still here. Probably. Uh, but we're heading in. We're heading out. I just want to get it going the opposite direction, but I can't even do that. Kiwi, 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 no, 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 don't die, don't die. Let's just leave. No, we didn't press it. If you press it, that will probably glitch it out. You just not. Shotgun. I'm not here. Oh god, behind you! Magazine. There's arrows in the bow and arrow in here. Got 
that's good stuff. Full magazine. Don't you need 9mm? I only got one mag! Oh, that's really sad. Mil. Are we climbing this tower? Do you need 9mm? Cause I have 9mm I can give you. Yeah. My magazine's almost full! The stairs up the stairs up the stairs no brew. Basically, like, Mister, Mister, jump down. I can't hear you. What are you doing up here? Do I heal?
Yeah, I, uh, I suggest you run. Actually, we're in the bad area, aren't we? Yeah, or did he come back? Oh, that's bad. Bad things happen. Over here.
Can I do this stuff? Uh, or can we? Get a safe house. Okay, get in. Get him down to two loads. I'm down to four magazines. I'm gonna go back. I'm down to four magazines. Were you going back to do something with the tower? Because if you look at the objectives, it says you need to go and overload the thing by destroying the tower.
Legs on. Jump over the things. Get to the chopper.
get out of here. Rest in peace, Kate. I don't think that counts as us having done it. <laughs> if it wasn't for the elevator, I wouldn't have died the entire time. But, I mean, there's also me accidentally, like, backstabbing you with the bayonet. I get... Fancy rage quit. Fancy did rage quit. That's I think it elevator could've... three times, rage quits. <laughs> that was funny. That was really funny. <laughs> um, somebody mentioned, you know how, um, the Hell at Loose, no, No More Room in Hell 2 is going to be Unreal Engine 4. Okay. That means that somebody can make a VR port of that really easily. But are they? They are. Just none of the VR games you talk about are good. Damn. <laughs> That's because Kiwi doesn't like um, the flat screen ports. None of them are good. Like none of phasmophobia? No. What's wrong with um, GTFO? The sites have parallax. You mean they don't have parallax? No, they do. This par I thought parallax is supposed to be a good thing. No. I mean, you want a parallax free red dot. Oh. And parallax uh... is when it changes. The lack of parallax is what a red dot has. It just got an update. They might have fixed it. No, bro. I really want an RPG-16. So AK, so M16, so M14, so High Kappa, buy RPG-16. It's my cousin's M14. I can't sell it, even if he doesn't mm. use it. I'd say keep the M4, because you know it's MWS. It's supposed to be really good. I like it a lot, but the thing is, I never play local games, and I'm not going to use it at a Milsim. Wow. I guess I could use it at Frostbite, but I'm not going to use it at a Milsim West. And I don't go to local games, <laughs> which is where it would be really fun to use, and I enjoy using it, but I don't do that. Did you say the LCT one had a quick change in spring? No, Arceus. Arceus. 
Well, LCT also has it, but LCT quick change springs are. You gotta take out the whole entire uh, gearbox in order to get it. But for RCS, you can do it while it's in the receiving all that shit. I am the milkman. You want RPK-16 because you want, like, a lightweight LMG? I don't really care about lightweight. I just want it because it's like an AK-12. Why don't you just get an AK-12? They'll have lower, uh, FPS cap and less BB. <laughs> you wanna, oh, you wanna... 1,500 BBs. I wanna run 16 knives. You wanna be, like, really heavy, like... Light machine gun, huh? Are you gonna run RPK mags? No. I'm gonna run 762 by 39 mags. Nice. They're the cheapest. <laughs> I'm gonna go with no sleeping bag. Whoopi, and that's it. Whoopi and Poncho. Maybe a sleeping tire, we'll see. I'm not gonna pack light. My rook is going to be a walk in the park. You going to bring your tarp? No, there's no need. You're going to sleep. You don't get to share my tarp. I want it to myself. Ah, uh, fuck you. Who says we're sleeping in the building anyways? What if we're sleeping outside in the fucking desert? Shockwaves after he railed me like that from behind? Wait a minute. After he shot on my back. After he came from behind me. Oh. I'm going to swap my things over to an AK-105, so I'm going to do a short barrel. But still retain the whole wood aesthetics. Um... actually going to bring 16 knives. Well, you can share with... How about this? Um, uh, I'm bringing my M... M uh, no, my AK-74U as my main, my AK-105 wood as my backup, and I'm just going to bring just a gun, no mags, 
in case if my gun ever goes down, like my gas bag ever goes down or it needs cool down, I'm going to swap to the 105 and I'm going to ask you for mags. She's five for five mags. You only have some six twos? Yeah. When did you buy all this? Recently. You, is it act, actually like metal or is it like the one I gave you which is like plastic yeah, imitation? Plastic because they were cheaper. They're mid caps, right? Yeah. How many do they hold? 120. Uh, three of my bags died during, uh, Stavropol, so I, I want to get some bags. I have a 545 mag that's currently jammed that I can give you. I don't want it. I have plenty of 545. Um, oh, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> um, I'm using my gas blowback, so I'm going to have a total of four mags. Oh, I see, I see. So each one has 35 rounds, so... Around 150 rounds total. I'm gonna shoot my shots sparingly, so I'm gonna hope you guys do most most of the covering fires. I'll let you hold on to my extra BBs since I don't think I have space. You shouldn't invest in the Odin speed loader. I've seen like. Such fast, like, reload speed with those, like, holy shit. By the time done with one mag, they'd be done with, like, two or three. If I had one of those, I might actually run a gas blow bucket most of the way. But what about mag school down? It's, that's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna run the gas blow back during daytime, nighttime, I'll swap over to AK. I feel like that's pretty smart. I'll have plenty of mags to give you if you need them, but I do also want to run a lot of mags. <laughs> yes, uh, what are you? Wait, like, how are you fitting all those mags? Okay, well I'm gonna have three mags per smirch uh, box pouch, plus one on the. Gun. I thought you could only fit two. I can fit three. Jeez. Have you not put three in before? No, I usually just do two. It's like Atlas. It works better if you turn it the other way. You use two. So I don't like to expand my pouches like that. It doesn't... It doesn't go break it. So that's 12 in the smirch, one in the gun, and then I can put two in the butt pack. You can put two in the butt pack? You're not going to put anything else in there? I don't really think I'm going to wear a jacket when I'm on patrol or anything. Or, like, I don't know. So my cousin went to Fleet Week this week. Let's look at frigate classes. I'm pretty sure that's the new. That's what the Marines is. That, that's the Mark 16. Uh, M27. Maybe. Yeah, AH Venoms. <laughs> Forklift. Navy, U.S. Navy forklift. Then 32 grenade launchers. That's something else. That doesn't. That's not M32 or M27. The the the, the one next to it is like the 50 cal. That's for sure. Look like at MSR or something like that. 
Pô, dele. Mas só ele vem. It's a mark something. I forget what it is. It's uh, one of the random two bolt actions. Same as the Armenian cannon. What do you think about the Trigiton Decog? I don't know what that is. That's the LVPO that was on the MPU cannon. I don't, I don't have money to for real optics, I wouldn't know. Sub $1,000 night vision? Yeah. That's cool. I want something like this. Did I tell you that the vast majority of the time that I've been using my AK, I end up holding it like a California compliant grip? Because it's too fucking fat? Yeah. It hurts my hand if I don't. We're no longer farb. Hong, and I just take off the grip and then I wrap the motor in tape and hold on to that. Just put tape on everything. You know Paul Hong is a certified truck driver. He was uh, streaming one of the voice channels on Discord and he was just driving his truck like his fucking your truck simulator. I was thinking of getting him wells. They said the underfolding wells AK um, is actually not too bad. But you already have a Wii type. Yeah, but I want a full size AK. Wouldn't you be better off buying more mags? Well, well mags works for WE as well. That's really cheap. <laughs> mm, you need a specific one. The one with like the underfolding receiver like these because the receivers are built different more was a lot stronger because regular Wells fire receivers are worse than B B series, so they'll actually crack from the and break. You need something like this one. Oh, wait.
what do you think about the prototype AK-12? What do you get that? No. I still need some M4. Okay, do you still use Digifloor stuff? Yeah. Sometimes. I, I'm what gonna, do you use? I was trying to run a Digifloor boonie because I didn't have any other hats. I hope you could use the ACH. Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot about that. That's what I'm doing instead. That's pretty militia. Yeah. I have a... Feel free to mismatch your stuff. Like, go, you don't have to do, like, all one camo or, like, you know, we're militia, dude. Just go wild. Go, you know, like... So, RR doesn't mind me wearing an ATAX t-shirt instead of a combat shirt. Yeah. I mean, we're the militia, so... Okay. Like, look, I have this top as well, and I also have the same rig. I could just do this. I don't have a helmet, though. If you had an ACH, would you get a picket, I mean, would you get an M-Lock rail and paint it green and glue it to the side? No. I don't need rails. But then it will look rails. like the Russian helmet if you... Blue and emerald. Blue rail on the side. Yeah, what about the night vision? Like this is some fucking sick stuff. Like, I I wanted to to start with VSR uh ninety uh VSR uh eighty nines, but VSR ninety eight. Here we go. Defender. I could use that. I want the Emerald Defender like this. With plates. You gonna get a Z patch? I was gonna, but I thought it was a little too controversial. Among Us. I want a sitting pad. Sitting pad sounds nice. But you don't live in Russia. The ground isn't freezing. Yeah, but the ground is poisonous and toxic. A sitting pad won't save you from that. <laughs> Yeah, let's check out Gray Shop, see what they have in stock. I heard all their good shit got fucking yoinked by the Russians. Mortal Tag a bit, yep.
What is this? What attack? What attack? Hmm. What? Mortal attack. Get the fuck out of here. Mortal attack. Mortal attack. Oh, mortal attack, dude. It's so fucking shitty. What attack? What attack? What attack? What attack? Gray shop has gotten worse. I want six B forty five. I want to buy this, but I think they sold the Smirch already. Yeah. <laughs> what is this called? I think this is called like Lazachi. Lazachi. Just like they sound, they look pretty good. I actually want to get these. I don't know. So if you got a chest rig, you would get one with uh, a I four a wide cat. pouch instead of a three wide pouch. Um, well, I think it's already four wide pouch. Too bad. Stop being a nerd. Do something about nerd. Moto attack feels bad. Instead of buying another Smirsh or a Well AK, do you think you'd be better off buying Compacts or Balfine? Buy more Howard Lays. Buy more Howard Lays. I haven't looked at that Facebook group at all yet. Oh, add it to, to the chat. This is the chat. Probably not gonna look at it.
Uh, we got pulled from security to support, by the way. Our whole squad is support, apparently. So we got MMG, LMG, LMG, LMG. I don't even know what difference that's going to make. What does SF, SFR is? Your CGL. Uh, I think it might be combat medic? Is that what that is? Oh no. I don't know. I don't know what CGL is. I think it might be Waterboy. I don't know what SFR is either, so... Do you want to do any, like, special equipment? MVGs? I want to, but I won't. Okay. No NVG, no thermals. Special equipment. A 16 mags. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count here. These are special equipment. Special equipment. A big flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> Spotlight. We have a lot of people in the squad. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Do you know how to operate an LMG and MMG if it goes down? You just push the winding button. Pull the trigger. About safety. Does PKM even have a safety? Perhaps. Well, depending on how light I pack, I could probably do medic. Or we can, you know, we can have Steve do it. What is CGL? I mean, what I don't is, know. Uh, what is SFR? I don't know. No. Special force measurement. The Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic. I don't know if you even think it had Russian front. Twenty six nods. This is the richest militia I've seen. Look at this. This whole entire squad, only two people don't have nods. Same with this squad. BGO. Um. Oh, I see what it means. AGO means uh, Alpha Group Lead. BGO means Bravo Group Lead. CGO means Charlie Group Lead. SFR. I don't know what that would mean. So Special you're squad lead. Reserve. I'm fire team lead or fire team C. Do you want to fire a team lead? You don't even have a radio. 
Uh, I don't mind trying it. Okay, well, do you have... I don't have a radio, though, so... You can use one on my radio. You have a radio pouch? No. Okay, um... In that case, never mind. You can be... Oh, well, then I'd have to be medic. Uh... I don't even know what SFR means. I'm passing this over to Steve. That's his first meal from Wes. He should be able to sweat through it. Is that the tradition? You make the first time Milsom West player be medic because it's terrible. That or they become cannon fodder, they become shock squads. That's what they do with uh, machine gunners. They make new people be machine gunners because it's heavy and they have to carry it around. Mad bro. Are pack and share? <clears throat> yeah. I think I'm doing the same. I am. I was thinking of getting something like this for chairs. It seems really small. UF Pro chair. Yeah, it's UP Pro, but. I hope it's IR coded. It's not. Trying to get the, the yellow canteen pouch or the like the brown one for the Alice pack. Like that color. This is safe. Alice clips are ripping off my canteen pouch. I'm sorry to hear that. If I get this, I also get a belt. But this one looks so much better, though.
Okay. That's all I need. Oh, wait, I need... Uh... These are so fucking expensive buckets, bro. Is that how you recharge your water? No. What's the bucket for, though? For my house. Oh. Not a tactical bucket. Mm, no. You see these? No. Apparently, it's a fucking PowerPoint. I didn't even see it. You can use Google Slides. Uh. I'm back. So. <coughs> if 
If you died and you had a map on you, and it was just a map of the field with nothing on it, and someone tried to loot it from you, would you say anything? Yeah, I'd be like, hey, do you have this map? Got nothing on Nah, but like, if they take it, you know. I'd be like, hey, I need that back. Just took a picture. I'm thinking I'm gonna run my 1911 too. As a secondary? Yeah, in case I run out of mags. <laughs> well, mostly just for if my gun goes down. Just like post crypto. <laughs> yeah, you got a drink. We run out of stamina on post crypto. Jesus Christ. Where's the post crypto? Post crypto dead game, dude. What is that? Да, группа встретилась. Проходим под мостом к позиции. Как принял? Я принял, принял тебя. white tape this time. Oh, cool. Let's get to Our, uh, давай, 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 бегом. Squad leader is going to be providing us the tape. You guess you might get wrongfully PID'd. How Victor's bill is going to feel. <clears throat> I wanted to bring my e-tool, but I guess since you say the pack light, I won't. Your what? Your e-tool? Yeah. You're not going to be able to use it, dude. You're not going to be able to do dig. You're going to be digging sand. You're gonna be filling with Hesco blocks? It's for digging through walls. Just use your gun for that. My stock is hollow, it'll break. Okay, use your fucking barrel. Like, like Jason, you guys don't clean your fucking barrels anyway, so why does it matter? My gun will snap in half. It's the one that's held together by two screws. <laughs> Poor Sima. Ready or not, dude. Except you're I you're an IDF. Imagine raiding a house and you meet whatever the fuck he's carrying. I think it's a letter. Oh, I thought it was a fucking like a goddamn like MMG. Is that a different guy? I can't tell, actually. Could be anything.
What are those M16s? No. M4s. Without the rails. Car pants. Pretty close to 25. Well, they didn't even raid anyone. Fighting in burns. <laughs> Imagine if there's there's always motor players in most and less. Tell Brian Cox and you back the motors. I think the immersion of media take over not to get hit by shotguns. Philippines. Is this the one where they use them? I think it might have been.
，不说不说不说。Dude, it's like a, it's like that one drone from um, Alpha Four. Dude, it's like it feels unstoppable. Это кто бросил? Кто бросил гранату? Наши бросили? Вы что, на приколе? А, за углом? Слава Акба, один это Арбини. Слава Акба. И вот обзор Я говорю, Of what? Allah Certain Allah HQs put in. Can I always start now? <laughs> Just to like what? Two weeks? The twenty first to third, twenty third, right? I think so, yeah.
I don't have work Monday. Sweet. Hey, I don't have work Monday. You still want to go out for that walk? That's fine. Shorzy! Said fucker. We heard what you said about us, you sack of shit. Never let a wound do a man's job, huh? Watch this. We're just taking a break from cooking and cleaning to win back to back to back shifts, asshole. I'll make you a sandwich afterwards. Play some company heroes. I don't feel like sleeping yet. Ah, I just want to do Milson Weiss. Every day is Milson West. Every day is a struggle like Milson West. Do you have an easier time waking up for your job? in the morning or waking up uh, during Milson West for Firewatch waking up Milson West during Firewatch The Uber Commando. What's going on guys? It's Chef, and you already know what time it is. So we're back over here on Advanced Warfare because yesterday uh, I already had my video done for the day. So like it was, I didn't really have time to, you know, make another video on it or add anything into it. It deserved to be its own video anyway. So uh, Ralph's Valve, the guy that ended up leaking a ton of information, Chamber Games set to develop Advanced Warfare 2. Now you can read the article here on his Twitter. Obviously you see it right here. So I know the first thing that you're thinking, first of all, why the f are we even talking about a Call of Duty that is supposedly coming out in 2025? Not just at 2025, basically 2026, because these Call of Duties release literally at the end of the year. Yeah, sure, it'll be a 2025 title, but the majority of its life cycle is actually 2026. That is so far away, and we thought it was crazy that we were hearing information and even seeing leaks and actual visual things of, like, artwork and things like that for Call of Duty 2024, because it's assumed, and it's not even confirmed at the moment, but it is assumed that we are supposed to have this Call of Duty for the next two years. Modern Warfare 2 is is going to be a two-year game. Whereas in year two, we're apparently, according to Ghost of Hope, supposed to be getting a DLC or something like that in year two that literally brings back all of the original Modern Warfare 2 maps. So we'll have all new stuff. I don't know, like, what the Warzone update is gonna look like. But with Advanced Warfare kind of being, like, the weird middle child of the, you know, jetpack era of Call of Duty, you end up having the worst received the one in Infinite right Warfare. There. It's definitely got the worst rap out of all of them. I mean, the trailer has four million dislikes. I don't think it deserved four million dislikes, but people were very 
very done with jetpacks at that point. And this is after having the best jetpack Call of Duty, you know, consensus anyway. That was Black Ops 3's time, and people were very, very upset that we were going to get jetpacks hey, again. People were pretty the tired of it. They wanted boots on the ground again. And it was a giant selling point for uh, World War II. Everybody was so hyped that we didn't have jetpacks anymore. Now, obviously, there are people out there that actually do like jetpack Call of Duties. I'm definitely more of a boots on the ground guy, but I don't hate jetpack CODs. I just have an unpopular opinion when it comes to jetpack Call of Duties. Now, that's relevant because if we really are getting an Advanced Warfare 2, I'm actually kind of excited. I don't even hate it. Although, honestly, whenever I think about Advanced Warfare, I'm thinking of literally just supply drops. Hopefully, they don't come back, to be honest. I really don't want them to. As fun as it was, admittedly, it just did not feel good. Shit, I mean, that supply drop system took my money recently while I was trying to unlock this shit. But it's a very unforgiving system. Luckily, over on these modded clients over here, you can just, you know, just auto-unlock everything, so. Advanced Warfare is my favorite jetpack Call of Duty. I wasn't that big of a fan of Black Ops 3. I do recognize that Black Ops 3 is absolutely the most complete. I get it, I understand, especially, like, the whole zombies community and everything. Just as a whole, the game was much, much more complete. I got a brutal. I think half of these guys are, like, actual bots or whatever, but, you know, it's just fun to run around in these lobbies and feel the movement all over again on this game. It just feels so smooth when you get going. It really does. You can just do really, really cool shit on there. I know that there's no wall running on this game. It's definitely different from games like BO3, but, you know, you can slide through here. This guy's invisible. Boom. You can do an exo knee slide into the dude. You can change directions in the air instantly. Slide over, jump over, follow this guy. Boom. Blast him away. Slide. Boost over, jump, slide. Boom. Mechanically, this game is, like, really... How do I explain it? It's real jerky. That's what this game is kind of like. It's just... It's got this weird, ragged, weird kind of, like, hard-cutting movement that, like, Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare lack. Infinite Warfare is my least played Call of Duty. I've played Call of Duty 3 more than I've played Infinite Warfare. People don't even talk about Call of Duty 3. I wanted to make a video on Call of Duty 3 so bad because that is truly the most forgotten Call of Duty of all time. Some people talk about World War II and all that shit. No, it's Call of Duty 3. People don't even recognize it as a game. It's not even on lists. People just forget it exists, even though they actively see that they're skipping the number. I played that shit. Why is everybody invisible? Why does everybody have cloaking on? My biggest complaints about the game is mostly tied to this entire system of the supply drops for Advanced Warfare. So I imagine, like, the whole thing is just going to be different. Also, there's a little bit of a nod. Now, Charlie Intel and others are saying that they haven't heard anything. They've asked their sources and stuff, and they haven't heard anything. But I'm going to choose to believe Ralph on this. You can choose whatever you want about it. But for me, I'm pretty sure there is at least some merit to it. Could that change? Absolutely. But I feel like if it's at least mentioned, it's probably true to some extent. Plans change and shit. But for example, this EM1, for example... They added this to Vanguard recently, right? That's a little weird, isn't it? Got a sledgehammer game, and then maybe, like, a little nod to them is, you know, testing out, like, an advanced weapon with, uh, the gunsmith or some shit like that. Because technically, we haven't had a futuristic Call of Duty yet combined with the gunsmith. A futuristic gunsmith honestly does sound kind of interesting to me in a few years. I really don't want to right now, no. I am definitely completely fine with modern. I'm a little mixed on the whole 90s thing with, uh, Treyarch, but I'm sure I'll love it. I love Black Ops 1, I don't really care. That's, again, another rumor, but that also has a lot more merit to it at the moment because there's actual like leaked images and shit so this advanced warfare shit is just that's what he said if you remove the supply drop system from the game and it's just kind of like a you know five or ten attachments or whatever i don't really know what sledgehammer would choose to do i feel like if less attachments it seems to be
received a little bit better than the 10 attachments from Vanguard. They might not ever do 10 attachments again. Maybe they even pick like a middle ground or some shit like that. Who knows? Sledgehammer tends to follow others' designs a little bit and then always put their own like Sledgehammer twist on it, which always make them feel unique. I know that Sledgehammer's laughed at, you know, they're the ones that did Vanguard. I got a soft spot for them. It is what it is. I like combat pacing. Who knows? Maybe like the movement will be nerfed for a few years, right? And everybody will be like, oh, I wish we had some movement back and then Advanced Warfare just hits us with the steroid. Movement will be lacking a little bit over in, you know, Warzone and shit like that. And then boom, I don't know what's going to happen with Warzone or some shit like that. I don't know if they're going to try to merge any of that shit in the Warzone, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. Will people even care about a BR by that point? I, I don't know. W would DMZ just be the God tier game by that point? Who knows? Are we going to have a futuristic Tarkov? There's so many questions, no answers, just speculation, but it drove a lot of conversation and a lot of people at the very least responded to it. And a lot of people were very mixed on this. Some people are crazy over the top too excited for jetpacks, honestly. It would be nice to see what a modern jetpack jetpack game would feel like though it really would but i'm not sure like you know if i don't like it mm. issue is just uh man what a big risk by them is all i'm gonna say why even risk it why i guess they could afford to fuck up i can't imagine they're gonna do any worse than vanguard i mean there's no way it sells any worse than vanguard right surely that could never happen let me know what you guys think down in the comment section how do you feel about an advanced warfare 2 we're not gonna you're a goofy goofy yeah your perspective the person who was actually there and involved with everything and it seems like yeah. you said you enjoyed zw or i'm not ZW. Uh, Z House 2 the most. I right? did. I like Z having ZWC at the Z House 2 was so much fun. We had a party as well there that was one of like some of my favorite moments in life. I've never laughed so hard at some things that has happened at that house. Like just I would do anything to go back and relive some of those moments because it was just so funny some things would just I, I can i can never explain it it's, a lot of this will just end up remaining as like an inside thing but mm -hmm. so many things there were just so oh, funny and, I, I yeah oh, i bet I just, just from me hanging out with my friends not recording shit i can like there's so much shit you So, this is the Bull Armory SAS-2. It's basically a double stack 1911 chambered in 9mm. Uh, it has all the sweet things that a competition gun needs. So it's optic ready, it's, it has an enhanced mag well, and it's just a sweet, sweet gun to shoot. I am slowly but surely uh, falling in love with it, and I'm probably going to compete with it. I'm not honestly 100% sure, but for now it really, really feels good in my hand. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and we have something pretty darn cool today. This is a reproduction of the Rheinmetall VG-3. Uh, the VG series of rifles were German last-ditch Volkschgewehr, or Volkssturm rifles manufactured in the last couple of months of World War II in a desperate attempt to maintain armament production uh, in the face of massive Allied advances into Germany, destruction of German manufacturing infrastructure, and just generic complete lack of materials, parts, labor, and money. So 
The best known of these is the VG-1, which was designed by Walther. There was competitive testing for bolt-action 8mm Mauser caliber <laughs> rifles in November of 1944, and a bunch of different companies uh, submitted designs. Walther's was the best. Uh, Rheinmetall was actually late to that trial, and their gun was rejected, which should tell you something. Like, even at this stage of the war, the gun that they presented wasn't considered good enough to actually put into production. However, a month later, in December of 44, they came back with a bolt-action 8mm Kurtz caliber rifle. That's 8x33, and it used the same magazines as the Sturmgewehrs. Now, this is something that the, the German military was interested in. Uh, certainly there was, like, why not? Let's consider blast-ditch stuff in that caliber, too. Well, at trials, the the Kurtz caliber version of Rheinmetall's rifle did really well, actually. They put 20,000 rounds through it without any substantial failures. They fired 20 rifle grenades off of it in testing. Uh, not sure exactly what they used for the rifle grenade launcher, probably a standard K98K one because the front end of the barrel is pretty much standard K98K. And the gun was uh, approved basically on the spot for production. Rheinmetall got a contract to make uh, 25,000 of them, and also 25,000 of Walther's design VG1s. They're going to be making Volksgewehr rifles in 8x57 and also 8x33. Now, by March, the, you know, the records get pretty sketchy uh, as the very end of the war approaches, but by March, Rheinmetall had produced some of the VG1s, but they still hadn't produced a single VG3, which is the designation given to the 8 Kurtz rifle. And it didn't look like, well, doesn't appear that they ever produced a substantial quantity of them. After the war, uh, German inspector teams in Somerda found two. <laughs> they found one that had a full-length one-piece wood stock uh, that was actually marked Rheinmetall uh, number 4, NR4, VG45K. And then they also found one that was configured like this, with a stamped receiver, a two-part stock, and that is what this is a reproduction of. There are no known photographs of surviving examples, but there was one that was found years ago. It was documented in drawings by a guy named Warren Odegaard. Uh, the gun itself has disappeared. The, the one, there's a surviving photo of one of the full stock versions that came out of Russia, but as far as I know, its location in the Russian MOD system is unknown. It's probably buried in some Russian military museum archive somewhere. But uh, this was made because it's a really cool combination of features. So it is a stamped folded sheet metal receiver, as you had with many of the last ditch German rifles. It is a two lug rotating bolt system. What's neat here is there are rails. Uh, the top of the receiver is folded over into two bolt guide rails, and there are two slots cut in the lugs that run on that folded rail. So it's a very simple system. Uh, in the original drawings, the bolt handle doesn't even have a round end on it. It's just a straight cylinder. Um, also worth pointing out, in the drawings, this actually has a lever safety on it that uh, blocks the sear. In this one, uh, this has been made with a simpler style of safety where rotating this over simply blocks the trigger. So, uh, 16 and a half inch barrel, little short thing. I'm going to run it with a 10 round magazine to start with, because this is going to be a lot more reliable, I suspect. But I am curious how this actually feels and handles. It's an exceptionally crude rifle. It's cock on close. There we go. You ready? It hits.
is there anything that you don't want to run at muscle bus? Heavy backpacks. If you had a cool one, I don't know what one you would like, but if you had one of your, a shotgun of your choice, would you run a shotgun at Azuri? Um, not really. What about I'm a big the fan of shotguns. TM Saga 12 gas blowback? Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, that would be cool. I don't really like shotguns either. <laughs> ah, okay. Come on. This has a long, crunchy trigger. It has a crunchy bolt throw. The striker spring is pretty stiff, so that you have to have that last little bit of energy when you're closing the bolt at the end there, which makes it a little tricky to do from the shoulder. But you know what? It hits. Oh, my poop wagon is gone. It's actually not that unpleasant of a gun to shoot either, which is a little... Surprising, it's starting to get a little toasty already. Your motor squad. The stock has almost no contour at the top. It's just like a flat corner. And that's a little bit uncomfortable. But not too bad. Alright, and then, if you want the serious firepower for it, well, it'll use original string bear magazines. That's the magazine that was available. Uh, you will see pictures of little 10 round magazines like this with some of the late war, like the last ditch German rifles, and this was never actually intended to be a fielded magazine. These were made for testing in the factory because the full-size Sturmgewehr mags are long and clunky, and they get in the way, especially of uh, testing stands for zeroing or for reliability checking. So they made some cut-down 10-rounders just to use in the factory. Uh, guns that were actually going to see service in the field all used 30s. Holy crap! Uh, I did that spur of the moment because I didn't think I was actually going to be able to do it with a slow operating bolt rifle like this, but there you go. So one more for good measure. Um, this is a prototype 
well, not a prototype, sort of. This is a limited run reproduction, um, not available commercially, unfortunately, but it's a super cool example of something that Germany actually did adopt at the very end of the war. Gives you a really interesting insight, I think, into their manufacturing techniques, what some of these uh, German arms companies were looking at as a way to minimize cost in every possible way. Oh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Maybe this, you know, this thing's doing decently enough. Maybe we'll actually take this out to a match. That would be asking for trouble, but you know, what the heck? Thanks for watching.
hot more. I think I know how to turn it off. I just press that little button. Where'd you come from? Come out, baby. <laughs> 